Hey guys, let me introduce you to the finesse braids from Savage Gear. The range consists of an HD4 line, which is four carriers with very high density of super PE fibers. The pitch is quite tight, so the line uh, feels quite rigid uh, and very, very tight woven. It's great for spinning reels, so that's the HD4. The HD8 is woven from eight carriers, so the HD8 feels uh, more smooth, more silky, um, and also uh, feels very round. So HD4 and HD8 for two different purposes. Let's look at it. So the HD4, uh, when, you, when you feel the line, you can feel that it's really tight pitch and it feels very nice and round. Um, and when you look at the diameter, you can actually see that a 0 0.13 uh, millimeter uh, compared to existing braids on, on the market feels very, very thin. And that's because a lot of the braids um, is basically thicker than what they state. This is a true diameter, or, or at least as close as you can get to a true diameter. That also means that the breaking strength in this case, which is 7.8 kilos or 17 pounds, uh, might be less than what you expected for a 0 0.13 millimeter braid, but it's actually true. For this HD8, it's the same uh, case. You can actually see that the line feels very, very round. And at 0 0.16 millimeter, uh, we are at 25 pounds uh, breaking strength. And this is very, very close to uh, the true diameter. All right, so the HD4 uh, comes in a, like a gunsmoke gray and in a high visible UV yellow. It comes in 120 meter packs and it comes in 300 meter packs and then you get the bulk, bulk spool so you can get your reels spooled at a spool station. Another nice little detail is that the packaging itself actually uh, works as a spool dispenser. So you can, when you want to load your reel, you can clip the actual pack onto your rod and uh, that enables you single-handed to spool on the line uh, perfectly. Another little tip is that when we get into the very, very fine diameters, especially on the HD4, um, it's very difficult to tie a knot uh, to your snap or directly to, to your lure uh, without losing a lot of the breaking strength. So when we're talking the smaller diameters like 0 0.06, 0 0.08 and even 0 0.10 millimeters, we highly recommend to use a braid connector. When you use a braid connector, uh, you barely lose any of the breaking strength and it enables you to fish these very, very thin lines and still um, keep the amazing strength. Okay, so let me show you how to use the brake connector. The brake connector is a small little gadget, little piece of metal, looks very, very simple. You can see there's like a small spike that sticks out here and at the other end of uh, the metal brake connector, there's like a little loop. Let me show you how to use it. First of all, you just make a loop at the end of your braid and the little loop, you hinge onto that little spike like so. And then you simply just turn and wrap the two ends of the braid around the stem of the brake connector until you reach the end, the line automatically goes into that little loop at the end of the brake connector. So what you've basically made, it's not a knot. It's just the, the braid that's wrapped around this piece of metal. And that's why you don't you lose any braking strength uh, in tying the knot. You can then uh, trim the end of the braid. You can basically trim it all the way down. It's never gonna slip. Uh, so you can trim that all the way down. And then you can tie your uh, tippet directly in the loop, or you can put a swivel or a snap uh, directly in this before you wrap on the braid. So highly recommended braid connectors from Savage Gear. In the HD8 series, we also have a counter braid. So the counter braid is made with uh, 10 meter intervals, as you can see, white, yellow, green, orange, and blue. So you can count down your lure to a specific depth, but it also have a black mark for each meter and a pink mark for each five meter. So you can actually count your lure down 
with very, very good precision and be right on your fish. So HD8 finesse counter braid. Hey guys, let me show you how to load your baitcaster with braid. Even the bigger wide body baitcasters like this Ukuma 360, um, you don't have space for backing, nylon backing, so you actually spool the braid directly on uh, to the core of the spool. And in order to avoid that the braid will slip the knot that you tie to the core of the spool, I'll show you a little trick. I use a sports tape like that, so I just pull off about four inches of or 10 centimeters of the sports tape and you can also rip that to have any width that you want and basically uh, what I do is I just put the sports tape on the core of the spool and then I turn a few times with the handle and then I leave it in that position I don't close that flat down then I pass the line through the line guide on the line level and I attach that just to the end of the tape like so. And then I can basically, without tightening the tape, I can actually catch the line. And here a little pair of scissors or pliers come in handy. And I can grab that braid right there and take it out like so. Then I tap down the, the tape at the center of the spool. And all I have to do now is just tie a sliding green knot like so like four turns should be sufficient right there and then I can just pull that right down on the center of the spool like that and that sports tape right there stops the whole uh, braid body from slipping on the center of the spool or the core of the spool. So all I have to do now is take the spooling friendly packaging and just pass that over my rod tip like so and I'm basically ready to spool the reel. I tighten down the drag and I can apply a little bit of extra pressure with my fingers here as I spool the reel. Perfect. Just so you can still, the line shouldn't surpass that edge or that edge. So that's perfect right there. That's all we need. And as you can see, in this case, we still got some braid on the spool. And this is a relatively heavy one. And we loaded about 80 meters onto this white body right here. So this would be perfect for casting those bigger baits. Hey guys, I have a tip for you on how to maintain your braids. Uh, when you go fishing, you will see that your braid uh, turns lighter and it actually loses a lot of the silicone treatment that is given to the braids in production. So I just use regular silicone spray from the automobile industry to just prolong the life uh, and the smoothness of the braid. So I just apply that directly to the spool and I do that basically after each fishing trip and it helps a lot to keep the breaking strength and the castability on the, on the braids. So just add a little bit of silicone spray and your braids will perform a lot better.